Matthew Perry was an American and Canadian actor. He gained international fame for starring as Chandler Bing on the NBC television sitcom Friends. Perry also appeared on Ally McBeal and received Primetime Emmy Award nominations for his performances in The West Wing and The Ron Clark Story. Born August 19, 1969, Williamstown, Massachusetts, United States. Died October 28, 2023, age 54 years, Pacific Palisades, Los Angeles, California, United States. Parents, John Bennett Perry, Suzanne Perry. Date of burial, November 3, 2023. Height, 1.83 meters. Matthew Perry net worth $120 million. Early life and education. Matthew Langford Perry was born in Williamstown, Massachusetts, on August 19, 1969. His mother, Suzanne Marie Morrison, May Langford, born 1948, is a Canadian journalist who was press secretary to Canadian Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau. His father, John Bennett Perry, born 1941, is an American actor and former model. Perry's parents separated when he was one year old, and his mother married Canadian broadcast journalist Keith Morrison. He was raised by his mother mostly in Ottawa, Ontario, but he also lived briefly in Toronto and Montreal. Perry attended Rockcliffe Park Public School and Ashbury College, a boarding school in Ottawa. He had four younger maternal half-siblings, Caitlin, Emily, Will, and Madeline, as well as a younger paternal half-sister named Maria. His siblings would stand and applaud him for early performances. By the time he was 10, Perry started misbehaving. He stole money, smoked, let his grades slip, and beat up fellow student and future Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. Perry later attributed this to feeling like a family outsider who did not belong when his mother began having children with Morrison, writing I was so often on the outside looking in, still that kid up in the clouds on a flight to somewhere else, unaccompanied. At age 14, he began drinking alcohol and was drinking every day by the time he was 18. Perry practiced tennis, often for 10 hours per day, and became a top-ranked junior player in Canada with the possibility of a tennis career. However, at the age of 15, he moved from Ottawa to live with his father in Los Angeles, where competition was tougher. At 15 years old, Perry studied acting at Buckley School, a college preparatory school in Sherman Oaks, Los Angeles, and graduated in 1987. While in high school, he took improvisational comedy classes at L.A. Connection in Sherman Oaks. Career 1979-1993, Early Roles Perry's first credited role was a small part in 240 Robert in 1979 as a child actor. Shortly after moving to Los Angeles, Perry started auditioning for roles. Perry made guest appearances on Not Necessarily the News in 1983, Charles in Charge in 1985, and Silver Spoons in 1986. In 1987 and 1988, he played Chaz Russell in the TV series Second Chance, later called Boys Will Be Boys. Perry made his film debut in 1988 with A Night in the Life of Jimmy Reardon. In 1989, he had a three-episode arc on Growing Pains, portraying Carol Seaver's boyfriend Sandy who dies in a drunk driving incident. Perry was cast as a regular on the 1990 CBS sitcom Sydney, playing the younger brother of Valerie Bertinelli's character. In 1991, he made a guest appearance on Beverly Hills, 90210, as Roger Azarian. Perry played the starring role in the ABC sitcom Home Free, which aired in 1993. Personal Life Perry held Canadian and American citizenship. He dated Yasmin Bleeth in 1995, Julia Roberts from 1995 to 1996, and Lizzie Kaplan from 2006 to 2012. In November 2020, Perry became engaged to literary manager Molly Hurwitz. Their engagement ended in 2021. Residences owned at some point by Perry included a condo in Sierra Towers purchased from Elton John, a house in Hollywood Hills, a house in Malibu, and a cottage in Pacific Palisades. In 2017, Perry purchased a condo occupying the top floor of the century in Los Angeles for $20 million, selling it to Nick Molnar for $21.6 million in 2021, who in turn sold it to Rihanna in 2023. In June 2023, Perry purchased a mid-century modern house in Hollywood Hills. 
Perry had a perfectionist and obsessive personality, spending many hours perfecting his answering machine message. He also believed in God, with whom he had a very close relationship, calling himself a seeker.